Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing really, really well today. So today I want to share with you guys my simple, minimalist, zero waste skincare routine and also my makeup routine. I've got a lot of requests for this video since I recently started to wear makeup again after not wearing it for four years. So as you can tell from maybe the title of this video and if you watch my other videos, I'm not really a makeup person, I don't wear a lot of makeup and I love a very basic routine. This routine takes me less than 5 minutes whenever I decide to wear makeup and I don't wear makeup very often, just on occasion, when I feel like being a bit more fancy. So I recently had to change up my skincare because obviously I had to remove makeup, which I never had to do before, so I thought I would just update you guys today. So I use jojoba oil and rosehip oil. This is a mixture of the two and I love to use this to do oil cleansing. It's something that I've done for a long long time now um, and it's really great if you do wear makeup because the oil helps to extract the oil on your face and it really does break down that makeup. It's especially good for mascara. So you'll look like a bit of a panda when you're taking it off but it's very very good at removing it. So once I put this all over my face I give it a good rub around and then I use one of these little cotton cloths to remove it. These are really great and I wanted to show you guys uh, the difference. So this is a new one and this is an older one that I've been using. I've just been using this one to take the makeup off and then just washing it in the washing machine. So as you can see, not much difference and it does come clean, which is a surprise. It was a surprise to me when it happened. So these are really great and yeah, this and this is all you need to take makeup off. You don't need to buy into these crazy skincare products and yeah, I used to have a skincare list as long as my arm and it was ridiculous, so this is definitely great. On days where I'm not wearing makeup, I usually just splash my face with warm or cold water depending on how I feel. If I feel like I need waking up, then it will be cold water. If I feel like I'm trying to relax and go to bed, then I usually use warm. If I feel especially disgusting, like really just clogged up, then I will use a bamboo washcloth had this one for years and it works really well. It's also really great to mildly exfoliate your skin. So again, just a really simple way of washing your face and just removing all of those chemicals and products from your skin, because it's really not necessary. And if I go out in the sun for too long, say, or if I have, I don't know, acne or something like that, then I've got um, rose water. So this is a rose water spray and boop, <laughs> I just spray a little bit of this on my face. And again, it's just, an extra one, I don't really need this but I do really like the way it smells and I usually like to just spray this on my face at night. So that's how I remove my makeup and wash my face and so I'm going to go through the makeup that I do use. So as you guys know I recently bought new makeup and the first one I want to show you guys is this which has appeared quite a lot recently. It's the Illate Cosmetics, um, <laughs> I don't even know what this is called. I will leave the names of everything and all of the, all of the colours and stuff that I use, I will leave them somewhere on the screen. So I've got um, the bronzer. The bronzer I love to put all over my face. I'm not someone who wears a foundation. I never have been, even when I used to wear makeup years and years ago. I found that I'm really fortunate and my skin doesn't really need it. And the only thing that I could do is concealer, but again, I don't really bother with it. I usually just put a little bit of bronzer underneath my eyes and just all over my face. This is a really great buildable colour, so you know, you can just slowly build up, build up, build up and you don't look like a crazy tangerine person. <laughs> um, it just gives you that nice glow and just makes your complexion look really even. So the colour that I've got is called Flush Cheek Colour in Sunbeam. So really like this and if you've got a skin complexion like mine then I highly recommend this colour. The next one is blusher, so another one that you really don't need a lot. This is definitely buildable, but it definitely is a lot more pigmented than the bronzer. So this one is the colour Titan, um, the flushed cheek colour. Really like this colour, I think it suits my complexion really well. Um, so yeah, you just pop a little bit of that on your cheeks and then I usually just dab the excess off on the back of my hand because I don't want to get too much colour on there. And then I just kind of wipe the brush so that it gets all of the pigment off and then I just kind of blend it in with the rest of my face. I've always been really into natural makeup and I don't like things that are over the top, especially on my face. So this is just a really good way of getting a bit of colour and just a bit of definition back into my cheeks and my cheekbones. The next thing I like to use is eyebrow pencil, I don't know if that's what you would call it. It's not really a pencil but it's in this little cute container so I just use a little brush to apply this and a little bit does go a long way and again it's buildable so if you want really dark eyebrows then you definitely can and if you don't really want a lot going on then you know the same applies. 
I have quite light eyebrows, but I also do like to fill them in because they're not the most voluminous things in the world. Um, this is the colour Smoke. I was uncertain what colour to get, but I actually really like this. So if you have light brown to sort of darkish coloured brown hair um, or browner eyebrows, then this is probably a great colour for you guys. Um, I wanted to say at the beginning of this video and totally forgot this video isn't sponsored. I've saved up over the years and this is just the makeup that I really wanted to buy when I finally decided to invest again. So these are just the colours that I'm just showing you guys because I think sometimes when you buy makeup online it can be very difficult to figure out what colours to get. The next thing is also by Elite Cosmetics. Can you tell that I like the products? Um, this is their mascara, so it's just called the Black Mascara. And again, really great. I love it because it's completely biodegradable, I believe. So the outside is made of bamboo and it can come off and the inside tub is made of glass so that can be recycled once it's cleaned. They have a give back program on these brushes where you send them back to Elite and then they send them to wildlife companies because they use these to brush little animals that get rescued so I think that's a really good use for these and a really good way to repurpose them and also you could just completely try and make your own mascara and reuse this tub too so love that. The last thing which is one that I I'm looking to replace once it runs out is this Burt's Bees lip balm. So this is in the colour Rose. I just saw this in the pharmacy one day and thought, oh this would be great. This was a few months ago before I even invested in the rest of this. I wanted something to jazz myself up and I was also looking for some uh, lip balm. So this was like two in one. So this is good. Um, I really like the colour that it does. It's kind of just like a really light colour. Also buildable so the more you put on obviously the brighter it is. It does tend to last quite well uh, for a lip balm. Lip balms usually just kind of rub off straight away. Um, but I don't really want to support Burt's Bees. Generally, I think this is recyclable. But again, not really sure whether it actually can be recycled. So I would rather just support a local person or support someone who makes things by hand on Etsy. So that's what I'll be looking to do in the future and that's what I would definitely advise you guys to do as well. Because I think it's definitely good to support the little man rather than big, big companies like that. The last things I want to share with you guys are the brushes that I use. So just got these from Elate Cosmetics again because I was just buying everything all in one go. I have a few makeup brushes at home already so these are just going to be added to the collection but I only have like, well, basically four items of makeup so I don't really need very much. Uh, I just got this brush which is the Cheap Contour. It's really really great. This is vegan so it's synthetic fibres um, and obviously bamboo and metal which I really like because I hate um, when the handles are made of plastic, granted these bristles are made of plastic, I know there are some brushes out there that use uh, animal hair, so depending on your stance in the world then that's definitely a really good option in my eyes, but this just seemed like a good option for me at the time. This is the one that I use to apply the eyebrow tint thing, I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> Um, this is the liner slash brows brush. Really like this, I think it's really great and you could also definitely use this to put on um, uh, like a winged eyeliner, not that I've ever done that in my life, but you could definitely use this, it's really good and it creates really good straight lines too. So that's it, that concludes my makeup and skincare tour, I hope that you enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this wasn't sponsored, this is just me trying to find zero waste options and then share them with you guys because I think it's so cool to support companies that are doing things right. So if you guys know any other companies that are really great, that you really like, or that you want to buy from when your makeup runs out, then let me know. I would love to know some more brands. I know there are a few on Etsy that I've heard of, but if there are any other ones a bit like Elaine that are zero waste and toxin free, then I would be super interested to know. So leave all of those comments down below. I love reading through the comments and we'll definitely get back to you all. So that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it you guys know the drill by now and I will speak to you all very very soon bye guys ah!